at it again with the scary animations, back at it with the Naruto shirts, yeah. But this time it's with my girlfriend. I'm glad you guys know about me and her because now you know that I ain't scared of commitment. Commitment! Ah, oh, gosh! Ah! Woo! But yes, here we go again. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like an egg. Well, I mean, this egg is expired if it's got all those spots on it. <gasps> Bruh. In the last video we did together, you guys hit the 100,000 likes. Yeah. So we've yeah. got to do the little kiss, the little kiss, the kiss. you know, we got to do the kiss, but yeah. we're going to do it at a random point in the video. Mm -hmm. So just keep watching. And if this video gets 100,000 likes, we'll do another kiss, but it'll be, uh, it's going to be a peck on the lips. It's going to, yeah, it's yeah. going to be a peck on the lips. So please drop a like. And and we did a video on Sarah's yeah. channel, so click that first link in the description below. Show some love and support and get there. Click it! Click it! And thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I did not expect so much love and support. I really appreciate it and I love you too. And we're gonna grow into the biggest socially awkward family ever. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Now, before we get started, comment down below a ship name for us. I mean, it could be like Mara, Matt and Sarah, Mara, or Schmatt. it could be Schmatt, or it could be, uh, what? Schmatty. Schmatty. <laughs> <laughs> Comment it down below. Now let's get our blankets and let's check out these scary animations. It's part 15. Yeah. Here we go. The Creature Horror Story Animated. My name is Magda and I'm 26 years old. I work in an office in the city. Is that you? On the weekends, I used to love to get away from all the hustle and bustle and take a trip to the countryside. This is hustle and bustle. Luckily, <laughs> I have a cottage in a small village which is located right at the edge of the forest. White people. Boy, if you don't I used to love to get out of the city and spend the weekend in my little cottage. Why did I stop? Well, I'll tell you. <gasps> After a hard week at work, I needed to rest, so I decided to get out of town. I went home, packed my bags, threw them in the trunk, and drove off. Mm -mm. When I arrived in the village, it was late in the evening and I was tired from the long drive. I went straight to bed and fell asleep quickly. By yourself? In the middle of the night, I was awakened by the sound of my car alarm going off. I looked out the window, but there was nobody in sight. I found my car keys, pressed the button to shut off the alarm, and the awful noise stopped. I laid back down and tried to fall asleep. All of a sudden, the alarm went off again. I didn't feel like getting up, so I just grabbed my keys and pressed the button once more. Everything me? was peaceful and quiet again. A new car. However, five minutes later, the alarm went off a third time. Jeez! Once or twice could have been an accident, but now I was wondering what was going on. Could someone be playing tricks on me in the middle of the night? Ignore it! I got up again and pressed the button to turn off the alarm. Don't investigate. But this time, I didn't lay back down. I stood at the curtains and watched. <gasps> After a few minutes, I saw something by the light of the moon. Oh my gosh. A shadow emerged <gasps> from the bushes and slowly approached the car. <gasps> I could just about make out the shape. It was something tall, skinny, and black. Oh. The figure reached out with its long, thin arms and knocked on the car. <gasps> the alarm went off again and... Quick as a flash, the dark figure retreated back into the bushes. Oh, heck no. At that moment, I realized what was going on and began shaking with fear. I turned off the alarm and continued to watch. Call the, the thing cops. emerged from the bushes again, slid silently over to the <gasps> gates, threw a hand through them, and removed the partition holding the gates closed. Hey. I was paralyzed it's with coming. fear, and I couldn't move. My mind was overcome by panic thoughts. What was it? What did it want from me? I don't know. What was it doing? Would it ever go away? Nope. A shiver ran through my body, from my head down to my toes. Call the cops. My mouth was dry and my heart was beating fast. I was so tense, I was gritting my teeth and clenching my hands into fists. I regained control of myself and ran down the stairs as fast as my legs could carry me don't to the fast. ground floor. I wanted to look for something I could use to protect myself. However, just as I was about to switch on the lights, I suddenly froze in my tracks. Oh my gosh. The dark figure was at the window. It was pressed up against the glass, staring in, looking to see whether or not there was someone home. I immediately ducked down behind the sofa and peered out. That's when I realized what all those tricks with the car were for. 
It was trying to lure its victim outside. I oh couldn't take my eyes off its hideous face. Its skin was oh! the color of ash and covered oh with God. wrinkles. Oh, its heck. eyes were small, beady, and completely black. Oh. Instead of it having a nose, there were two ragged holes. <laughs> it didn't have any lips, just two rows of sharp yellow teeth. I'm breathing on the glass. And it breathed. It was so heavy and hoarse that it was misting up the window. I just knew it wasn't going to go away. After standing at the window for a few moments, I heard a rustling noise as it came to the front door. I watched as it tried to push its fingers through the gap under the door. The handle began to twitch wildly up and down. The creature emitted a chilling sound. It was not like a human voice. It was a deep, beastly growl, like an angry dog chewing on a bone. I knew that if it heard me, it would keep trying until it found a way to get into the house. This thing's kind of I crouched down behind the sofa, hiding in the shadows and desperately trying not to make a sound. Tears began involuntarily streaming down my face, no matter how much I tried to stop them. It's I zombie. could feel my pulse pounding in my temples, and I was shaking like a leaf, just waiting for it to end. Hmm. I don't know how long I cowered there. I must have been passed out. When I woke up and looked out the window, oh, no. the creature was gone. The door was still in place Is and it? everything seemed secure. Mm. I've mm. never been so relieved in all my life. Where's your iPhone? I ran upstairs and looked out the window. Call the cops. It was light outside and there was no sign of anything wrong. Taking a chance, I grabbed my keys and without stopping to collect any of my things, Girl. I ran out to the car. Jeez. I jumped in, locked the doors, and drove away from the village as fast as I could. I didn't stop driving until I got back to the city. When I got back to my apartment, I turned on the radio and heard a news report. The announcer said that, in the village, the dead bodies of two girls had been discovered. Their corpses had been mutilated and dumped in a swamp. No. I guess the creature found what it was looking for. I don't want to, but I am curious to know. What would have happened if I didn't make the right decision of sprinting? <gasps> oh no! That's scary, jeez. The only reason she survived is because she didn't investigate. So, hashtag don't investigate. Gosh, that thing was scary. Oh man. So let me know on the old dang scary scale how scary that one was for you. On a scale of one to poop your pants. Poop your pants being the scariest. What? What kind of a scale is that? That's the dang scary scale. Gross. Mm -hmm. You know when you get really scared, you poop your pants? That's no. Oh. Just, just me? Yeah, just you. Just me. I just wanted to know, why is this thing wearing pants? Like, what the <laughs> heck? Like, oh, yeah, I had, to, I had to run out and scare some people and eat some people. But, hey, don't forget to put on my pants. He doesn't want to be cold. What? Well, put on a shirt, Justin Bieber. Dang, come on now. It's ridiculous. How scary was that one for you? Um, one to poop your pants? Not poop your pants. Okay, okay, all right. Like a, like a seven. Seven, okay, all right. That was pretty creepy. Yeah, I give it a seven, too. That thing was ugly. Ooh, no, not today. Uh-uh. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to another one. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. The man in my brother's closet. <sighs> This happened two months ago in January of 2019. Mm. My parents went out to a party. They told me they wouldn't be back until at least 3 a.m. in the morning because nice the party tie. was supposed to start at 8 p.m. And the party was going to be in New Jersey. Oh, those hands. We live in Connecticut, so it takes a while to get there and back. They told me to watch my 10-year-old brother and expected me to be responsible because I'm 15 years old. When they left, we watched movies all night while eating a bunch of popcorn. Dang. It was around 11.30, and we just finished watching Infinity War. I told my brother to brush his teeth and go to bed. Because his breath was kicking me! Oh, gosh! But anyway, it's fine, it's fine. Later than him to watch the movie Logan. Logan. The movie ended, and it was around 2 in the morning. I was getting ready for bed when my brother came down the stairs. I asked him what he was still doing up. And he said the boogeyman was in his closet and wanted to touch him. Oh. I looked at him in confusion. My brother isn't the type of kid to pull pranks or joke around. Wow. He wanted me to check it out. I said, fine, and no. started saying he probably just heard a house noise. Mm. He said he heard a noise coming from his closet. And when he checked inside, 
The boogeyman was there <gasps> and said he wanted to touch him. What? Jeez. We went inside his room. I turned on the light and we went to the closet door. I opened it and what I saw made me seriously angry. There was a tall, scruffy looking man with long, black, greasy hair. Oh. He looked as if he was in his mid 40s and was fairly built. Ew. I was pissed off when I saw this creep watching my 10 year old brother sleep, and I figured out what my brother meant when he said the boogeyman wanted to touch him. Ew. I was so pissed off. I punched oh. his throat. Dang. He dropped to the floor, gasping for air, but I stepped on his face as hard as I could at least six times. Ow. Jeez. He was covered in blood and was having trouble breathing. And his teeth. I grabbed my brother and ran into the bathroom, locking the door and calling the cops. Mm -hmm. Then I called my parents. My parents freaked out. In about 10 minutes, the cops showed up and searched the bedroom. He wasn't in there. Seriously? They searched the house. He wasn't anywhere to be found. I gave them a good description of his appearance, and an officer even stayed at our house until sunrise. Mm -hmm. A week later, I was informed that the same guy was caught and arrested for raping an 11-year-old boy and murdering his parents. Jeez. It turns out he had raped multiple children before and even murdered some of them and their parents. He was 47 years old and received a death sentence. If my brother never came downstairs to tell me what happened, then I fear the worst could have happened to him. And I'm extremely thankful that didn't happen. <gasps> Jeez, man, that was a uh, no, wow, wow, dang. I'm about to check my closet right now. Make sure. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was disturbing. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, that one was just creepy. Oh, man. Do you think it's based off a true story? No, of course not. I don't know. Maybe. It might be. But, hey, just make sure you lock your doors, check your closets, check under the bed, and then, you know, have your phone ready to call the cops just in case. Yeah. Mm hmm. Don't investigate. Yeah, seriously, talking to the white people like don't go investigating it's not worth it okay i mean just just don't do it man the boogeyman showing up in people's closets oh jeez boy you better get that out of here come on come on you know you want to do it you know you want to oh here we go get that out of here oh uh, yeah yeah that was that was good that was good it's just, time 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 for uh time. <laughs> All right, y'all got the 100,000 likes in the last video we did together. So, I guess we gotta do the, gotta do the kit. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go, okay, all right. Oh, not, and then, here I go. Affection. Oh, affection, yes, yes, it's a legitimate relationship. What, <laughs> you already did, all right. There you go. All right, all right. And if this video gets 100,000 likes, we'll we'll do a kiss, like just a little peck on the lips and whatever. But get that's, the likes. That, get the likes. <laughs> and that's as far as we'll go with that. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the one that we did on Sarah's channel. It's yeah. that first link in the description below. Get there. Click it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Sarah. Show her some love and support, please. And subscribe to me, because all the cool kids are doing it. Yeah. Hit us up on Instagram, at Dang Matt Smith and... At Sarah Caney. Yeah, yeah, check it out. And comment down below, let me know how scary that last one was for you on the old dang scary scale. Scale of one to what? Poop your pants. Yeah, let us know, let us know. Thank you again for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it, and we're going to see you next time. Peace. Woo! Oh, bat! <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 <coughs>